Hi guys. Let's read Aloe Vera. Salt proliferant, demulcent, emollient, stomachic, laxative, vulnerary. Aloe vera is one of the most popular and well-known herbs. It truly is one of the great healers. It belongs to the leafy family of the succulent aloes, not the cactus as many people believe. I didn't know that. Aloes have been used for centuries. They have even been found in Egyptian tombs. Contains a pain relieving agent and is a contact healer, which means it starts healing on contact. Oh, that's cool. Uh, excellent for burns. See remedies. Gel is used by nursing mothers for sore nipples. Rapidly penetrates the three layers of skin, carrying nutrients to all layers. Use juice as eye drop to improve circulation and eyesight. Hmm. Stimulate circulation in wounded areas, which also promotes healing. This would be great in lotion. Uh, promotes removal of dead skin and stimulates the normal growth of living cells, which help wounds to heal rapidly. Prevents and draws out infection. Relieves itching and chickenpox. Expels pinworms. Drink juice for several days. That's cool. Moisturizes and improves the skin. Is put in many cosmetics and shampoos when the product contains other natural ingredients beneficial to the skin. This is wonderful because aloe vera's penetrating ability helps to carry them through the three layers of skin. But if the products contain harmful additives, chemicals, or colorings, they could also be carried through the three layers of skin. Know what is in your product. Read the label has been used in the following. Abrasions, acne, allergies, arthritis, baldness, hmm. uh, bladder infection, blood purifier, bruises, burns or scalds, bursitis, calluses, canker sores, chicken pox, itching, circulation, colic, colon cleanser, colitis, constipation, corns, cramps, flu, Cuts, deodorant, denture sores, diabetes, digestion, diverticulitis, a douche, and for dysentery. Oh, there's me. Jeez. Organ trail. Uh, ear infection, apply topically. Eczema, eyes, fever blisters, flu and influenza, gallstones, hair growth, promotes heartburn, hemorrhoids, herpes high blood pressure, insect bite stings, joints, aching, kidney function, liver, nerves, nervous condition, pain, pinworms, poison ivy or oak, a poultice, to be used as a poultice, psoriasis, rheumatism, ringworm, scarring, skin, sores, sore, ulcerated, stomach aches, huh. sunburns, tapeworm, tuberculosis, ulcers, vaginitis, warts, and wrinkles. It's a pretty big mix. All right, well, we got barberry here. Let's see what we got. Oh, and then bayberry. So. Barberry is a hepatic, laxative, tonic, stomachic, and astringent. Acts on the liver, promoting the secretion of bile. Ooh, that's what I need. Dilates blood vessels, thus lowering blood pressure. Acts as a tonic and stomachic when taken in small doses. And a cathartic, causing diarrhea when taken in large doses. Has been used in the following. Anemia. Appetite stimulant. <coughs> bad breath. <laughs> Bladder. Uh, blood pressure, blood purifier, boils, Bright's disease, cholera, constipation, diarrhea, digestion, flatulence, gas, gallbladder, gallstones, gargle, heart, heartburn, itching, kidneys, liver, mouthwash, 
nephritis, pyorrhea, rheumatism, ringworm, skin, spleen, throat, sore, typhoid fever, yellow jaundice. Fascinating. Hello. Where are your kittens? All right. Let's sing a later.